Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm conducting user research as part of our redesign uh, process for our product Prospero. I want to share that with you. I've been spending the morning working in Full Story, which is kind of my favorite tool for UX research, one of my favorite products in general. And I want to share that with you. So basically, part of my research was to interview some of our customers and to ask them like literal feedback what do you think what doesn't work for you and i've listed down the, those feedback and it's super important but the thing about doing research with interviews is that a lot of at least in in digital products and SaaS products like we have a lot of the users that had kind of a bad experience or signed up and didn't come back you don't get the chance to actually interview them in, in you know in person you can send them emails but most of them are not going to reply they're not engaged and they don't have a reason to talk to you and so it's very very hard to get in touch with them in person and that's why tools like full story um, come in super super handy so basically what what full story does is it lets you see the sessions like recorded and you can see them but it also actually helps you to understand many more things and I want to share that with you but um, note I will kind of block off a lot of things because a lot of that is personal information like names of people and in general you know prosper our product is helping freelancers to create proposals and so a lot of the information there is also personal and so I'll blur some things out but I just want to show you the process of how I work so here's here's basically the interface of full story um, and you get the list of uh, people who um, recently visit and you have the recordings and then you have some kind of analytics here and, and insights um, first of all is the rage grade if people are kind of like raging clicking because something is super unclear or annoying so in that sense uh, it turns out Prospero is pretty good they're saying that we are in the 56 percentile among B2C industry so I'm I'm pretty happy about that but that still doesn't mean that I didn't find a lot of UX issues uh, in our design so basically as you can see some people you can see people who are online right now and people who were online before and some of those people they had like this uh, user for example had 38 sessions and a lot of them are super super long like two hours session 30 minutes look this guy spent hours using our product and what's amazing here is that I got the backlog recorded of all of his sessions so I can actually go and see his first session when he signed up in uh, December and then see how his first experience went and so that's actually part of the sign up process and that's him actually creating his first proposal and so for example here he's working in our in our wizard and what's nice is I can do page insights and so and to get little details on this uh, website that are not specific to this user specifically and for example I can see that most of the, the most uh, clicked in area on the wizard screen is this area um, and I know that from feedback and also from seeing other people working here that this text field for example is way too small for the amounts of text that people have to put in and so that's for example one thing that I learned just seeing how people work with it and validated by actually talking to people and understanding that yes this is actually um, a problem so once I go over a lot of them I kind of catalog the issues here on this Google Doc so I've kind of uh, listed the components of our um, of our tool and wrote down the issues in each and every screen so as you can see the dashboard doesn't have any issues everything works there everything looks pretty uh, pretty clear the wizard and actually the pricing editor is most most of our problems are I actually knew this and that's part of why I'm doing the redesign because I want to restructure this whole part of the app but it was really great to know what doesn't work at the moment and what works so for example um, I know that just seeing that people don't understand how to reorder items in the title so they actually just delete and create them in a different position or I can see that I have a deliverable list but not a lot of people actually click there so those are things that you know I can see them you know in the analytics how many clicks there were or not but actually visually seeing that you know session after a session people are looking through there so they're clicking it might look in the analytics as if it's working but they don't end up using that content for example that means that we can actually just remove this whole part um, 
and and it might actually end up being a better experience. So one other super super cool thing about uh, Full Story that happened today, as you can see, I can see here the people who are online right now in the app. And this morning, as part of the as part of the research that I did, I clicked live and I saw the. Uh, somebody who didn't understand that they can actually change the language during the sign up process trying to create you know uh, a proposal in Hebrew but his account was actually in, in, in English and so while seeing him doing this wrong you know I opened up my intercom and started chatting with him and explaining him what to do and also got great feedback around the fact that he didn't see it he didn't know it's possible and his ideas of in general how we can make the product better so this day was I think super successful for me I got the I got the main issues down um, which is great you know tomorrow I'm gonna start rethinking and, and you know prioritizing the, the new features and starting to wireframe this but this was very very important to me because I want to make sure that we're not that we're actually solving the, the issues that we have right now all right so for me it's been pretty productive and fun day recommend if you have a digital product please check out um full story such a great experience hope you guys have a great day now i'll catch you tomorrow